Hey guys, it's Landon Blake with Redefine Horizons, and in this video, we are going to respond to a set of review comments that we got from the city here in Central California on a tentative map that we're trying to get approved. This is in the city of Brentwood, and uh, so we got we got some review comments on the tentative map. We also got kind of some preliminary conditions of approval. Um, this is after a, a meeting we had, a Zoom meeting we had with the city. So we're trying to we're trying to get this project moving. Um, you know, COVID kind of messed things up. Uh, the city's had the map, the map for uh, several months now, and uh, we can't get them to get us a deemed complete application, which starts uh, some clocks running that we need to get running. Um, so what I wanted to do in this video is uh, just walk through how we're going to respond to um, to this feedback that we got from the city. There's some specific things that we need to address and uh, and so we're going to do that in the letter and I'm going to I'm going to kind of walk you through why we're addressing what we're addressing. And um, this letter is going to be reviewed by the client's land attorney and then uh, the, you know the, the will be dis uh, the land attorney and I will meet with the client. And uh, we'll decide if we need to tweak this letter. But this is part of the part of the service that we provide here at Refine Horizons is just dealing with this kind of stuff, right? We uh, we help people get private real estate projects approved and and uh, built in California, which can be a real challenge, especially in the East Bay East Bay area. So what I've got here is I've got the uh, the, the package that came from the city. You can see it's eight pages. I've already kind of been through the. The, uh, the comments and sent this to the client and his attorney and they told me that they wanted me to go ahead and put together this response to the, to the city. So we're going to go through and address those things. I've just I've got some rough notes in here. There's eight things that we need to address. So we're going to deal with the deemed in incomplete comments. We've got a, an issue with floating uh, with, with some access points for the, for the driveways. Uh, I have some questions about the deferred improvement agreement we're going to do. Um, then they're requiring us to do three annexations, so I need to find out exactly what we need to do for that. Um, and then we have a, some questions on some fees. Okay. So I've got a, a letter put together. By the way, I'm doing this video for my buddy Danny, and um, I'm sure uh, Brian and Nick and Hunter will also watch this at some point. Okay, so if you go into uh, the job folder here at RH, we have a communications folder. And then in this out folder, I've got this response to the city here. And I've got this Word doc that we're going to open, and I already kind of set this up just on our standard letterhead. Okay, so we're going to come in here, and uh, instead of to whom it may concern, we're going to uh, address this to the planner. So we're going to say Sarah Uweiler. Make sure I spelled her first name right there. Yep. Okay. So, um... We're just going to start this out. We're going to say uh, this letter is our response to the comments provided by the city of Brentwood on, and then we want to put the date. So this original letter came on May 5th. Okay. On May 5th, 2021. Okay, so short and sweet to the point. Then I'm going to say, uh, so I'm going to break this out into headings uh, for the planner because I think that will make it a little bit easier. So we're going to say status of, uh, of uh, tentative parcel map. Okay. okay, so then we're going to say, uh, whoop. so we got some issues here, so if we come down here, um, so this is fine. We'll we'll update the deed here, um, and we'll confirm the right of way is. Um, we'll we'll confirm the uh, the right of way needed there to get to 120 feet. Um, that's fine. We'll indicate Old Stagecoach Road is under Contra Costa County jurisdiction. Okay, so my issue here is that. Um, we already provided an arborist report that identified all the trees, so I don't understand why they're asking for that. And um, we should have got these other three comments on the first review, right? So 
And I don't think that's intentional. I think they just they didn't want, they weren't thorough on the first plan check. And now I got it deemed incomplete again when they could have addressed these issues on the initial submittal. So we're going to highlight that uh, because we want to build a good record here in case um, <laughs> this ends up not going well. We want to put our client on good, good solid legal footing. And then uh, we'll come back and address item number two here. Okay. So we're going to say um, we are we uh, will make the changes to our tentative parcel map requested by Alan Bacquilar make sure I spelled that name right 1L on the letter dated May 3rd 2021 I'm going to say however we don't understand why review comments weren't provided after first submittal our tentative parcel map it is very important that we obtain a deemed complete status on our application as soon as possible without further delays. Please confirm the tentative map will be deemed complete after we've addressed the items in the letter from Alan Bacquilar and that additional, you know, I'll just say that, say, if additional changes to the tentative map are needed before it can be deemed complete, we are requesting those changes. We're requesting we be <coughs> provided a Noti with notification of those changes immediately, there aren't additional delays. Okay, so I'm trying to be polite, but you guys should have should told me that on round one, and you didn't. Okay, so <clears throat> it's not cool to not provide all the comments on the first check and then deem the map incomplete, right? Okay, so uh, on number two here. They want to provide a plan showing how the parcels will store solid waste and how the city would service the parcels. Uh, we can certainly do that, and we got to reach out to the applicant. So I think that's everything we need to say about the, to the tentative map. Okay, moving on. Uh, these are the draft conditions. Um, and most of this is just boilerplate, okay? So where we, where we get down to... Um, the, the really nitty-gritty here is, is right here on condition number five. Okay, so 5A is fine. That's boilerplate. 5B, 5B is fine, but 5B2 is an issue. Okay, so it says, uh, Relinquishment of butter's rights of vehic vehicular access along Brentwood Boulevard, except at existing and future driveway locations to the satisfaction of the city engineer. Okay, so one of the, the challenges we have, and we keep trying to explain this to the city, is our client doesn't plan on developing. So he wants to subdivide and sell, and we don't know what's going to be built on here. Right? That's going to be driven by the by the developer that buys the parcels. So, so I'm going to say response to, uh, let's just call this conditions of approval. Okay, and uh, it's nice to just number these uh, just like they do. So we're going to say 5 dash. B-2 and then I'm going to put here relinquishment of access rights along Brentwood Boulevard okay and we're going to 
say we don't know at this time how the commercial parcels may be developed after the subdivision is completed. We like to confirm that the location of proposed driveways, the tentative map, I'm going to say proposed driveways shown on the final parcel map can be moved if necessitated, necessitated by the design of site before building permits are issued. So if they're going to lock me down on the drive locations, I need I need to know that because that's a pretty important design constraint. Okay, and uh, hopefully they won't. Hopefully they'll give us some flexibility there. Okay. All right. So uh, this is a big one. Okay, so that takes care of number one and number two. Okay, this next one's a big one. This is uh, the deferred improvement agreement. Okay, and so uh, we'll, we'll go ahead. I'm, I'm over 10 minutes. We'll stop this and we'll start that in the video.